In this video, I'm going to explain once and for all why Tesla does not need LiDAR. I really hope this is the last time. Over the weekend, there was a tweet from prominent Tesla investor Gary Black. He's a fund manager. Gary's black intent is in the right place, but his suggestion and the general notion of using LiDAR and or other backup sensors is a waste of time and actually quite dangerous. You need vision to crack level 5 autonomy. LiDAR and or radar is actually less safe. That's right. It's actually dangerous to rely on these sensors. This is why Tesla is going for a vision-only system. It's more stable, it's more reliable, and it's more safe. I'm going to play a short clip from Andre Karpathy to explain a little more. See you after the clip. Recognition, and very powerful visual recognition, is, is absolutely necessary for autonomy. It's not a nice to have. Like, we must have neural networks that actually really understand the environment around you. And, uh, and LiDAR points are a much less information rich uh, environment. So vision really understands the full details. Just a few points around are, are much, um, there's much less information in those. So as an example on the left here, um, is that a plastic bag or is that a tire? A, a LiDAR might just give you a few points on that, but vision can tell you which one of those two is true. The entire uh, infrastructure that we have built up for roads is all uh, designed for human visual consumption. So all the signs, all the traffic lights, Everything is designed for vision. And so that's where all that information is. And so you need that ability. Is that person distracted and on their phone? Are they going to walk, walk into your lane? Those answers to all these questions are only found in vision and are necessary for level four, level five autonomy. And so in this sense, LIDAR is really a shortcut. It sidesteps the fundamental problems, the, the important problem of visual recognition that is necessary for autonomy. And so it gives a false sense of progress and is ultimately, it's ultimately a crutch. Andre explains it well. Also, one of the technical reasons I have personally found is I've gone through the painful process of training a lot of neural networks, and I can tell you from experience, the more inputs you put into the neural network, the more random and inaccurate it becomes. More data and more samples is good, but more inputs is not, i.e. camera plus radar plus LIDAR equals what the F <laughs> for the neural network. Um, also, what you have to realize is Tesla is using eight cameras over time. This is the video module. They are not taking a single frame and predicting how to drive. This means FSD has memory, like you. You may have seen a pedestrian, a bike, a car, whatever, and now it's hidden. It's behind something else. But you still know it's there, and you can predict where it will be over time as well. This is the same for FSD. The object is going to remain in FSD's memory for a period of time, much like the way you navigate the real world. So wrapping up, not only does Tesla not need LiDAR or radar, it's actually dangerous to rely on these sensors. And in time, as Elon predicted in 2019, everyone using LiDAR or radar or other sensors will drop support and go vision only. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.